cover the naked statue and then they made him a little, they give him a little, little, like such a little body. He had such a small body. If I was him and I was actually a Jack man underneath that jacket, and then the Jeff uh, who photoshopped James, James's Photoshop, gave me this little boy body with a little bit of hairy nips, I would be upset. I'd be like, I work all hard and stuff on my bod. And he gave me this little soft boy, soft body. This skinny, fat body. Also, how religious is your mom that she can't even see statue titties? She can't even see nipple, nippolinos on the old statue. Like, if you're so religious that boobies on stone, like, they freak you out, you gotta take a step back, man. Jesus loved boobies. He did. He said it in the Bible four times. He invented boobies, man. Because Jesus is God, who is Jesus, right? That's how it works. He's the son of God, but also God. And the Holy Ghost is God, too. They're all God, right? And then Santa's in the mix. Santa's somewhere in the mix. I don't know where he's in the mix, but he has... Santa has magic, which comes from God. So, that means God made boobies. God loves boobies, because he made boobies. He loves man. He loves man all men's creatures equally, therefore loves boobies. Jesus is God, therefore loves boobies as well. If you're religious, you should like boobies. Duh, duh, the math is out, guys. The math is out, and if you don't get it, guess what, boobies are in. Boobies are in and they're staying in, they're not going anywhere. People have casted their votes, the, the, the tribe has spoken, boobies stay on the island. Um, balls? I don't know what the vote is on balls yet. I don't know what the vote is on balls. I think balls are a necessary evil. Balls, they have a job. They come in, they're the coal miner of the body. Balls come in, they dig the coal, they keep the furnace running, but you look at them, they're all covered in gross soot, they stink, and they're in the dark, and they're like, ah, hanging around. And they, they, they got a grease on them at all times. You don't want to touch them. You see a coal miner in a coal digging it, he's throwing that coal in the furnace. Arr, arr, he's angry, he's hot, his back hurts, he's sensitive. Yeah, even though you think a coal miner, his life is hard, so he actually is sensitive because he, he's physically gritty, but his spirit's uh, broken. He doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to have a conversation. They're ball, balls and coal miners, same thing. This is Top 10 Central Vibe. We're doing funny Photoshop request trolls part two. Uh, guys, just watch it. Watch the whole thing. That's it. Watch it now. We're starting. What friend? Made him disappear. You put him in the in the in the in the rock, eh? He just he just he just he just molded him. Into the into the mountain. You have a rock friend. Also, your friend is in your you're in Turkey going on a trip with your friend. He gets in your picture and you go, get the fuck out. What? What kind of friend are you? Let your friend be in the picture with you. How about that? How about you you share that that moment with a person who traveled to Turkey with you? Is that Istanbul? Is it Istanbul in Turkey? Or is Istanbul its own country? What's the capital of Turkey? You don't know the capital of Turkey. What is it? It is Istanbul. I'm the smartest fucking person that's ever been alive. I want everyone to get on board with this train, because guess what? It's going to Gravy Town. It's the Gravy Train to Gravy Town. We're, we're making millions of dollars just on this fucking brain, guys. Shut up or get in it. Okay. Hi, James. You do good work. This was such a beautiful morning. But I'm so far away from the camera in this photo. Can you fix it? He brings her face all the way in. That's too much face. That's too much face. It's frightening how close it is. Also, like, why did you take the picture like this? Like, it's a beautiful morning. You got someone to take the picture. You looked at it, you went, yeah, that's good. Get a little closer in there, dude. Then you don't need to ask for James to do anything for you. Also, that's an amazing Photoshop job on James to get that close in, to have that detailed of a face. That makes me so scared with what they're doing at NASA. They'll, they zoom in from the roof of the world and they see you, uh, they see you like anywhere. 
anywhere, man. It doesn't matter where you are, they can see you. Even like they'll go in through your window, they'll spot you, they, they'll take pictures of you nude, and they put it on the NASA website. If NASA gets a nude picture of you, they own it. It's in the contract. Please make the cow a little closer. Thank you. Done. He kills the cow in the picture. Dark ending. That's how we're ending this video. Very dark. James murders the cow via Photoshop. NASA sees it all. And then he puts it on the internet. And NASA doesn't do anything to stop it. NASA saw the whole process happen. They don't do anything. NASA doesn't care about you. I want you guys to know that. NASA cares about Mars and rocks. That's it. That's all they care about. You are disposable to them. They'll send you to go get rocks, and then if, if, if something's happening on the spaceship and only you or the rocks can come back, there go, they go, bring the rocks. We don't give a shit. You're fucking ugly. That's what NASA will say to you. Every time. Every time. All right, guys, that's Top 10 Central Vibe. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Kiss your down lips.